Abdul Hadir Mullah was the uh, Assistant Secretary General of the Jamaat Islami Party, which is the largest Islamist party in Bangladesh. So he was pretty high up in the Jamaat. But in 1971, he was in his early 20s, and he was accused of having been part of a militia that uh, the Jamaat Islami formed with assistance from the Pakistan Army. They were collaborating with the Pakistan Army in their fight against Bengali nationalists. And Abdul Qadir Mullah became known as the Butcher of Mirpur, which is a suburb of Dhaka, where he was supposed to have carried out a series of atrocities, including killing off a poet and also going into villages and killing villagers. So he was convicted on five counts of murder, genocide, and um, sentenced to life imprisonment at first, but then the prosecution appealed and the Supreme Court changed it to death sentence. And yet he remains a divisive character. He has his supporters on this announcement. I was just saying, violence has been reported <laughs> across the country. Well, it's not exactly across the country. There, ha there are pockets of uh, areas in the country where the Jamaat Islami is, is very strong, and you can expect some reaction there. But in major cities, the reaction has not been that great. It's quite muted at the moment. But Jamaat Islami has called for a nationwide general strike for Sunday. So we can expect some uh, violence go leading up to Sunday and perhaps on Sunday itself. But the level of the kind of reaction that uh, what we were expecting and uh, the authorities were actually apprehending may yet turn out to be the case, you know, and uh, people are expecting some as major spike in violence, but this violence has been going on for mm -hmm. over a month now on an unrelated issue, on an issue of uh, the election. So it kind of adds to the mix of violence. As you say, we've only just had this news in in the past few minutes that he has been executed, so we might still yet see yeah. further reaction. What about these accusations by the Jamaat party that this trial was politically motivated? Well, the problem has been that the International Crimes Tribunal, which is a domestic court trying international crimes committed in 1971, the court and its proceedings have been quite controversial. Uh, the law which set up the court was deemed to be not up to current standard because the law was uh, drafted in 1973. So it needed to be upgraded. And the workings of the courts have been criticized by various human rights organizations, such as Human Rights Watch, Amnesty, and the United Nations uh, human rights body also. But the idea that the trials are politically motivated are not actually borne out by the facts because these crimes were real crimes. The victims were real. And these crimes went un kind of addressed for 40 years. And if you're going to try anyone for these crimes, it had to be the people who are being tried. Now, whether they're receiving a fair trial or not is a different issue. But it's the Jamaat Islami, the party which collaborated with the Pakistan army in 1971, and they participated in the militia activities. So the actual charging of these people were not, you cannot say, I mean, I don't think it'll be fair to say they were politically motivated.